learned that people are fascinating in life's journey, as I mentioned. That's one of the things I just love to do. And they add richness to your pearls. They do. They add such beauty to your life. But you have to embrace the different people that you meet in life. I was on an airplane, my husband and I flying out to ski. And we had a middle seat. That's when the airline actually let you have a vacant seat by you. And this woman got on, the most obnoxious Yankee. Excuse me, pardon me, where's my seat? I've got a center seat. Oh, there it is. How are you? I've got to put this in the overhead. I did not say one word. I just stared at her. I've never seen anybody like this in my life. She said, well, help me. I've got my luggage. How are you? I'm sitting down. She didn't stop. And my husband looks like if he could break that window, he would have been on the wing of that plane. So she sat down in the middle, and she leans around and looks at me and says, Am I going bald? Look at my head. Do you see? Am I missing some hair? I just, I just shook my head. She said, I just went scuba diving in the Cayman Islands. It was fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. But they give you squid to beat the stingray. Do you know stingrays suck? They have no teeth. They suck. So this man, I did not know this, he put the squid in my hair. And the stingray sucked it all out in my head. Are you sure I'm not going bald? I didn't say a word. I shook my head. She said, look at my face. Am I swollen? Look at me. And I was scared of her by then. I was just staring at her. <laughs> Am I swollen? I gave that man eight years of my life. Eight years. He broke my heart. He shaved his head and bought a holly. Went to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Picks up a little piece of white trash. Dumped me. I am so mad. I am so hurt. You see my fist? You see this? The next girl I meet from South Carolina, I'm going to give her this. Where are you from? I said, Nebraska. <laughs> but y'all, we are such good friends. We love each other. I love Nancy. When I go to New York, I stay with her. She comes down here. What a rich time for me. What a pearl on my strand. I love Nancy. But I had to open my mind. So she has been a real jewel in my life. She has. I have another, another friend from the North, from New York City, Linda. And honey, she had to relocate to our little town. I frankly felt sorry for her. <laughs> I said, oh my gosh, bless her heart. Her daughter is this gorgeous model in New York. And Linda works all these high-powered fashion shows and knows Naomi Campbell and the whole deal. So I called her up. I said, hey, Linda, you want to get southernized? Let me take you to our version of Fashion Week at the Ponderosa Country Club <laughs> in Batesburg. And honey, we got a shop owner that drips southern. I love her. I just saw her a couple of weeks ago. She talks like this. Hey, darling, you are precious. I love you. I don't know you. But I love you anyway. I love everybody. And she does. She genuinely is the sweetest person in the world. So we're at the fashion show. And here is the southern male with the accent. And Linda and I are sitting by each other. And she begins to shout, Our first model is Martha Louise. Now Martha Louise is local. She is an educator. And she's wearing a beautiful outfit for my shop. And it is the color green. Oh, but the fashion world has declared a new word for this color. It is not green, oh no contraire. The new word is Kia Wea. <laughs> and Linda leans over and says, she's trying to say Kiwi. <laughs> I said, mm-hmm. Linda leads back over and says, Heavens above, I think I just pee a weird in my panties. <laughs> it's just fun to have friends that are different in your life. 